Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making this little booty for a small girl. The size for the body is for the sole it's um, 8 cm in length and 5 cm in width. So this little booty gonna be for a newborn baby. I'm gonna use merino wool for that. It's 100% Italian merino wool, 125 meters in 50 grams. For the cord, I'm gonna use cotton yarn, also 125 meters in 50 grams. Circular needles, 2.5 millimeters. Scissors, hook, 175 millimeters. Yarn needle and markers. I'm gonna start with kneading a sole, and I'm gonna start in the heel part of our sole, casting on five loops. A sole I'm gonna be knitting in garter stitch, so in every row that I have, I'm gonna be knitting. In every second row, I'm gonna be making increases till I'm gonna have 15 loops on my needle. And the first row, I'm just gonna knit five loops. In the second row, I'm going to be making increases on the sides. So I'm going to need a one loop, make increase, then three loops to knit, and another increase before the very last loop. I'm going to be taking um, the yarn from the previous uh, round, from previous row, to make an increase. And before the last loop, I'm just going to take the yarn from previous round and I'm going to knit it as well. In the row number three, I'm just going to knit all seven loops that I have. In row number four, I'm going to be making increases as well in the same way as I did in previous row where I made increases. So I'm going to need one loop. I'm going to take yarn from previous round and make a loop. And continue knitting. Then I'm going to take yarn from previous round. Before the last loop that I have, I'm going to make another loop and finish my row. In the next row, we just knit in 9 loops. In row number 6, I'm going to be making increases again and they're going to happen in the same way. Row number seven, we need in eleven loops. Again, increases in row eight. One more increase in this row. Row number 9 and we knit in 13 loops. In row number 10 we're gonna make our last increases. So first loop we knit in. Increase. Eleven loops, then again increase and last loop. So 
so now we have 15 loops on our needle and we're gonna continue knitting our sole with these 15 loops without any increases for 35 rows so we're gonna knit in a garter stitch from row 11 to row 46 in a garter stitch without any increases I finished knitting 35 rows in garter stitch with 15 loops on my needle and now I'm gonna be shaping toe part of a booty and I'm gonna be making decreases. So in this row and that's gonna be row 47 I'm gonna be knitting uh, one loop then I'm gonna be making decrease and then nine loops and making decrease again. So next it's going to be my decrease and I'm just going to place my loop like that. So it's going to be in the right uh, position for me. Also, I want to make sure that uh, next my loops are really close one to another. So I'm going to be just knitting, taking it by the first loop. So the second loop that I need, it is hidden by the front loop like that. Now nine loops. Now I want this loop to be the first one to see. So how I'm gonna be knitting, I'm gonna be just switching position of this loop. So those loops gonna be also close one to another, but I'm gonna be switching position of these loops. So this loop is the first to see. In the next row, which is row number 48, I'm going to be knitting 13 loops. Row number 49, and again, we're going to make decreases. So first loop we're going to knit. With this loop and the next one, we'll be making our decrease. So going to knit two loops together like that and next uh, we'll need seven loops and decrease again I take my loops from this side place them like that so it's gonna be easier for me to knit them together like that Row number 50, 11 loops that I have on my needle right now. Now everything for our soul is done here in this part and we can close our loops. I'm gonna need the second loop and I'm just gonna take it through the first one like that and again i'm gonna need the next loop and i'm just gonna pull it through the first one here So we're done with this part of our booty and I'm gonna need uh, this loop uh, because I'm gonna continue knitting uh, in rounds now and I have to cast on loops in rounds for my soul. And I'm gonna still use this color of their yarn. So when we're done with our closing and we have prepared our needles, I'm gonna take a hook and I have to pick up 64 loops all around on my soul. And I'm going to start with this loop. I'm just going to go in the closest space right here. And I'm going to take my loop that I have already through that space. That's going to be my first loop. If you're going to take a closer look, uh, you're going to see that in Carter's stitch, you have uh, ribs and you have kind of like 
little spaces here between the bumps and i'm gonna be going in every each space over here between the bumps and i'm gonna be taking a new loop i need to go in this one as well and i'm gonna pick up my loop so that's gonna be two loops that i have and my short loop and now it's time to dump those loops on my needle so i'm gonna be going with my hook and picking up every loop around also you can do it with uh, just needle if it's going to be easier for you so you can do it too and over here on the part where we have our heel you already have a little hole so it's going to be easier for you to pick up those loops just going into those holes these holes so that the space is where we did our increases So in the part where you don't have those uh, in between rib spacers that we have in garter stitch, you're just gonna go in every uh, loop from previous row and you're gonna just take your new loop from that one. In this part, you might need a hook. So I actually need a hook in this part because just to take it from there with the needle, it's a little tight for me. So now I have 64 loops on my needle and I can start the second part of knitting uh, my booty. And in this part, I'm going to be knitting all knits in seven rows all around. And I'm going to be knitting them on circular needles that I have right now. If it's not comfortable for you to knit on circular needles, you can definitely use uh, three or five needles, whichever is going to be more convenient for you. Also, I'm just going to put a marker on this part where I'm starting my row. So I'm not going to forget that this is going to be the start point of my rows. And that was the end of the row number one. I'm going to continue knitting in rounds. I'll meet you when I have seven rows done. So I'm done with seven rows of knits. And now I need to put it like that. So I'm going to fold it and I'm going to bring these loops on this side. For that, I don't need uh, my marker anymore. I'm going to use my hook. I'm going in the same space from which I cast on these loops. So I'm going here inside. I'm going to take this loop from the needle and pull it through the other side. Leave it on this needle. So I'm going in this space where I picked up this loop. You can see where I have it on the other side. If you're going to just pull it a little here, you'll see where we're going to go with our hook and uh, we pull from that side our loops. And I'm going to continue until I have all my loops on the right needle. Also, I can just cut this yarn because I'm not going to need it anymore. Later, we're going to hide it inside this little part here. Now I have 64 loops on my needles. This part is my heel. And that's where I'm going to start uh, knitting with pink yarn. I'm going to be starting knitting in this part. That's our heel part. And that's where I'm going to be switching from one row to another. Because I'm knitting here with garter stitch. And when you knit in rounds, you have to knit one row and another row you have to purl. So that's where I'm going to be switching from purl to knits and vice versa. I'm going to put a marker on this part. On this side and that's gonna be my uh, start point with pink yarn also i'm gonna make marks on my toe part just to mark where i'm gonna have a different pattern not garter stitch but i'm gonna have this pattern one uh, sticker on this side and on the other side right here 
you can see the middle because you see that you have uh, five loops here you can uh, count three bumps that we have clearly seen and this loop it's gonna be our middle loop that's our very middle i'm just gonna put a marker just beside that loop and that's gonna be my middle and also that's gonna be the part where i'm gonna start my knitting from this marker on one side i'm gonna count 17 loops and on the other side i'm gonna count 18 loops and i'm gonna put marker after 17 loops here and after 18 loops right here so in this top part i'm gonna have 29 loops and on this part it's gonna be 18. on the top part i have 29 loops and over here together i have 35 loops so on one part in this part over here i have 17 loops and this one i have 18 loops so right now everything in place is and we can start our knitting and in our first row we're just gonna attach our pink yarn and first row are we gonna make all around all knits And we're done with our first row with pink yarn now we're gonna switch to pearls and we're gonna purl these 18 loops first as i told you before that's gonna be our place we're gonna be switching from uh, knits to pearls and vice versa for the front part we're gonna be knitting a pattern so as you remember the first row was all uh, knits and the first loop in this pattern we have to purl second loop we're gonna be knitting as well so we're gonna be making one purl one knit one purl one knit ending with purl so for the middle part we needed one pearl one knit and ended and started with pearls and we'll continue with the purling these 17 loops because that part and this part that we already did for our heel that's gonna be our garter stitch so in the next row i'm gonna be knitting all these loops that i have here then i'm gonna be making actual pattern that i have here i'm still leave uh, one uh, pearl one uh, one knit i'm gonna be uh, purling uh, my loops uh, in the same way for the knits um, i'm gonna be taking uh, the previous loops from previous round as well together with the loops that i have uh, right now on my needle i'm gonna show it just in a second when i finish this part with my knits for garter stitch so first we're gonna leave our marker here and we'll need 18 loops so we're gonna put our marker on the right needle i will continue in knitting but this time we're gonna continue with our pattern we'll do still our pearls so we're gonna purl one loop and for the loop that has to be knit we're gonna take it uh, for the loop uh, from previous round this one so i'm gonna uh, put my right needle just in that stitch from previous round grab a yarn and pull it through for their purl i'm gonna be doing them in regular way i'm not gonna change anything and knitting my uh, knits taking it by the two loops from one from the previous round and the one that I have on my needle I'm gonna be in every second row so I'm gonna continue with purl and let me show you again so I'm gonna be going inside the loop from previous round taking my yarn and pulling it through regular knit just make sure that you're not twisting it again my knit i'm going in the loop from previous round and taking it by the two loops again purl in a regular way just making sure it's not twisted and again uh, my knit going in the previous round and continuing with purl 
again going from a loop in a from a previous round so you can see right now that i have two loops and wow just putting it like that so that's gonna be my pattern for the toes And in the next round, I'm gonna knit this uh, toe part in a regular way. So all knits and all pearls, I'm gonna be knitting regularly. That's gonna be only in every second row that I'm gonna knit my knits, taking it by the loop from previous round. Finishing with a regular pearl. Switching my marker to the other side and continuing with all needs for garter stitch pattern. So right now I have 64 loops. I didn't make any increases, any decreases. And I just uh, finalized my pattern here. So I have a garter stitch in the back, in the heel part, where I'm switching right in the middle one row from the other one. So knits from pearls and vice versa. In the front part, in our toe part, I have a pattern, which is one pearl, one knit in one row, just in a regular way. And in the second row, I have uh, one regular pearl and one um, knit about the knitting it uh, by the loop from previous round i'm gonna continue knitting the same way just repeating this pattern and i have to make 12 more rows so overall in this pattern i'm gonna have 14 rows i finished those rows and now i'm gonna start making decreases so we're gonna shape our heel and our toe part because i can clearly see my middle part where i start my rows where i'm switching them from uh, knits to pearls and vice versa i'm just gonna remove this uh, marker i'm still gonna continue Continue with garter stitch for a couple of rows. In this row, I'm gonna start with 18 knits. I'm also gonna remove this marker too. And in my middle part, I have to make 14 decreases. First loop from my middle middle part, I'm just gonna purl now. I'm gonna decrease it in the next row. And then I'm gonna make 14 decreases, knitting two loops together. Because this row is my row when I'm knitting uh, my knits, taking them uh, by the two loops, one from previous round and one from this round, I'm gonna do the same in this round as well. And I'm gonna knit along with them uh, my pearl loop. And first I'm just gonna switch my pearl loop. So that's gonna be like that. And it's going to be closer to the loop that I'm going to knit with that alone. Right now, you see that they are really close one to another. And I'm just going to knit them all together like that. And I'm going to do with another decrease the same. I'm just going to switch my purl loop. So it's going to be like that. Putting back those two loops. Take them all together and knit them together like that. And one more time, just gonna take in those two loops here, holding them a little, taking my purl loop, switching position like that, putting back those two loops and knitting them together. And again, taking it two loops, switching position of my pro loop, bringing it back and knitting them all together. And we're done with our 14 decreases in the middle part. And this row I'm gonna finish with 17 knits.
in this row i'm gonna make only one decrease and i want to decrease this loop this pearl that i have from my middle part i'm gonna knit it together with this loop and because according to the pattern it's pearls so i'm gonna purl it 17 pearls After that, one decrease. And I want this loop to be the first one here. So I want just to switch position of the loops. We're going to purl them like that, switching position of the loops. So that you can see that now the loop that I had first, right now it's right here. And I'm going to purl them together. So the loop that I wanted to decrease is hidden behind the loop from my garter stitch. 14 knits in the middle. And 17 pearls. This row we're going to start with decrease just one decrease in this part at the end of the row we're gonna make another decrease over here we'll be knitting two loops together and it's gonna help us to shape our heel first decrease i'm just gonna place these loops a little bit differently so this loop i'm just gonna switch like that and this loop i'm just gonna position this way so they together are gonna be close one to another and now I can easily just knit them, taking it by the loop that I have right here. So that's going to be a loop that is further from me. Knitting them together like that. And I'm going to continue with 14 knits. Now I have to make another decrease. This loop is going to be first one that one i'm just gonna switch position like that this one as well so the loops gonna be close one to another and i'm gonna knit them together 14 knits in the middle one decrease knitting these two loops together first i'm gonna switch position with those loops this one i'm gonna put like that this one here now I'm gonna go from this side 13 knits and two loops together switch in position In the next row, I'm going to switch my garter stitch pattern to two knits, two purls, starting with one purl. Middle part going to stay the same with knits. I'm also going to make one decrease right here in this part. This is the part where my garter stitch ends and my middle part starts. I just want to even out my parts here, so I'm going to have on both sides the same number of loops. One purl. Two knits, two pearls, and I'm going to continue knitting two knits, two pearls until I'm going to have two loops on my needle. So overall on my right needle, I'm going to have 15 loops made in a pattern. Two knits, two pearls. I just made one knit and now I have to continue with another knit over here. Now I have 15 loops on my right needle in the pattern uh, two knits, two pearls. But I started here with one pearl. My middle part I'm gonna knit, so 14 loops here I'm gonna just knit.
I'm gonna start with two knits and continue till the end of my row. The last loop that I'm gonna make, it's gonna be purl. Two knits, two pearls. Again, two knits, two pearls. Overall, I'm gonna have 15 loops in this pattern. Now I'm gonna continue with the same pattern in my heel part, but in a toe part, I have to make seven decreases. So 14 loops that I have here in the middle, I'm gonna be knitting together by two loops. So I'm gonna have seven decreases, seven times I'm gonna knit two loops together. Starting with one purl, continue with two knits and two purls and so on till the middle part. Overall, I'm gonna make 15 loops. And seven decreases. So I'll be knitting seven loops together. I mean, I'm gonna be knitting two loops together. Then another decrease. Two needs two pearls, finishing with one pearl. So I just need 15 loops in the pattern. Two needs two pearls, finishing with one pearl. All decreases are done at this point. I don't have to make any decreases or increases. After this row, I have to knit 10 rounds following the same pattern. So in the middle part, it's going to be 7 loops in knits. On one side, I have 15 loops starting from the middle here. This part I'm knitting starting with one purl and continuing with two knits, two purls. 15 loops right here. On the other side, I have the same. Let's make one row together. One purl. Two knits. Two purls. Two knits. Two pearls, two knits, two pearls, and two knits. Seven knits in the middle part. Two knits. Two pearls, two knits, two pearls, two knits, two pearls, two knits, and finishing with one pearl. Now I'm gonna make nine more rows with the same pattern without increases or decreases. So after we finished our 10 rows with the same pattern, we can cut our pink yarn. We don't need it anymore. We'll hide the end of the yarn a little later and we'll continue knitting with white yarn. As you can see on this booty, we'll attach our white yarn right here in this part, in our middle part in a heel. And we'll be knitting garter stitch for another 25 rows. And because it's garter stitch pattern and we're knitting it in rounds, we're gonna be switching from needs to pearls in every row. We'll still continue switching our rows in a heel part in the middle right here. So let's attach our white yarn and we'll start with needs.
we'll hide our ends of the yarn a little later and we'll continue with knitting all knits all around in all loops Second row, we continue with pearls. And we'll continue switching our rows with knit and pearls until we have overall 25 rows done. And now when my all rows in garter stitch are done, I can close my knitting. First, it's gonna be yarn over and I'm gonna knit my first stitch. I'm gonna put it back on my left needle and yarn over that I just made. I'm just gonna put it on the knit and take a knit through that yarn over and bring it back on the left needle. I'm untwisting it. Then again, yarn over. Again, I'm gonna make one knit put back all three loops and I'm gonna pull my third loop that I just knit through the two that I have here. So one that I knit before and one yarn over like that. And I'm gonna bring back that loop just to untwist it. I'm gonna continue again, yarn over, one knit, bringing back all three loops and pulling third loop through the first two and bring it back. In that way, our closing is going to be stretchy. I'm gonna continue until the end with the same way of closing. And now I can just leave a little end and cut the yarn. I'm also gonna hide this end of the yarn just inside this side here in our sole. First we're gonna make some knot here and hide it inside. I'm gonna do the same with those two ends of the yarn. Now we're gonna decorate our trim with a simple crochet stitch. I'm gonna use a pink yarn for that. First, I'm gonna make one loop with a slip knot. I need to find the middle part over here. And I'm gonna pull my loop through this middle. That's gonna be start. First, I'm gonna make just one stitch and I'm gonna go in every single stitch that I have around. So that's gonna be first one. Going inside, taking a loop and pulling yarn through that. Then I'm gonna go to the next one here. Again, going inside, pulling through and going like that. I'll continue here going to the next one now I'm gonna join my end so I'll go inside here and just take my loop and pull it through to join the row like that and I'm gonna hide those end inside this trim. With the beige yarn and the hook, I'm gonna make an eye cord. Starting with chain of three, 
slip knot I'm gonna count as my first stitch so now I have three chains and I'm gonna go in the second chain from the hook and pull one loop then I'm gonna go in the next chain and pull another loop taking the hook from two loops and I'm gonna hold those loops like that going again for the yarn and pulling it through the loop that I have then going to the next loop holding another one and taking another stitch and the third one now I have again three loops on my hook and I'm gonna continue with the same pattern so I'm gonna take my hook from those two loops grab a yarn and pull it through the one loop then go into the next one holding the third one and again and the last one and I'm gonna repeat it until I'm gonna have uh, the cord in the length 44 centimeters My cord is 44 centimeters long now. I can close the knitting and cut the yarn. Grabbing the yarn, I'm gonna go through two loops first and then through other two. I will cut the yarn and pull the end of the yarn. To hide the end of the yarn, I'm gonna use a needle. The rest of the yarn I can just cut. I'm gonna hide the other end of the yarn as well. Now I'm just gonna insert our cord inside the booty. So I want my cord go in this part right here and because I have here uh, two knits, two pearls, so that's how my cord gonna go as well. It's gonna go through two knits go on this side and it's gonna be like that so taking one side of the cord our booties are done There are a couple of ways you can wear these booties. That's how a booty looks from the inside. 